rounding. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. What is rounding? Rounding is when you find a number that is close in value to a given number by finding the nearest 10, 100, or other place value. For example, when you buy several items, you might round each price to the nearest dollar before adding them all in your head. Let's look at the number 347 and round it to the nearest 10. Step 1. Underline your place. Since we want to round to the nearest 10, we're going to underline the digit in the tens column, which is the 4. Step 2. Look next door. So we're going to put a little arrow from the tens column to the ones column, and we're going to look at that digit. We're going to put a circle around it. Step 3. If it is 5 or greater, you add one more to the place that you are rounding. So since we are rounding to the nearest 10, the four tens would now become five tens. And step four, the numbers in front or to the left of the tens digit will stay the same. And step five, the numbers behind or to the right of the tens column zeros their name. So we'll change the seven to a zero and our new rounded number will be 350. Let's look at the number 347 again, but this time we will round it to the nearest 100. Step 1, underline your place. Since we're rounding to the nearest 100, we're going to underline the digit in the hundreds column, which is the 3. Step 2, look next door. So we're going to draw a little arrow from the hundreds column to the tens column. If that digit is 5 or greater, we add one more to the place that we're rounding. Since the digit in the tens column is a 4, it is not 5 or greater, the digit in the hundreds column is going to stay the same. Since there are no numbers in front of the hundreds column or to the left of the hundreds column, we skip number 4. Now we move on to step 5. The numbers behind or to the right of the digit that we are rounding turn into zeros. So 347 rounded to the nearest hundred is 300. Now it's time to get a piece of paper and a pencil. Are you ready? Let's practice. What is 258 rounded to the nearest 10? Press pause to give yourself as much work time as you need, then press play to check your answer. Yes, 258 rounded to the nearest 10 is 260. Let's try another one. What is 342 rounded to the nearest 10? Press pause to give yourself as much work time as you need, then press play to check your answer. 342 rounded to the nearest 10 is 340. Let's try rounding to the nearest 100. What is 289 rounded to the nearest 100? Press pause to give yourself as much work time as you need, then press play to check your answer. 289 rounded to the nearest 100 is 300. Let's try one more. What is 426 rounded to the nearest 100? Press pause to give yourself as much work time as you need, then press play to check your answer. 426 rounded to the nearest hundred is 400. Great job. It's okay if you don't understand this right away. This is a very difficult skill. Go back and rewatch the beginning of the video where I go over the steps and keep practicing until you get it. You got this.